What is up you guys, my name is Dennis and welcome to Playbook. I have the goal of making this my shortest review ever and I will make this as quick and short as possible. Okay, so my vlog for today is all about my review on the film Glass by M. Night Shyamalan. Glass marks the end of the Israel 177 trilogy of M. Night Shyamalan, concluding the favorites of audience like Unbreakable and Split. M. Night Shyamalan probably has one of the most turbulent careers of any directors in Hollywood because of his unconclusive career, and he started out in 1999 being nominated for an Oscar in his masterpiece The Sixth Sense, and then slowly but surely did a lot of misfires in the next couple of years with The Lady in the Water, The Last Airbender, and just recently After Earth. Despite having the struggle to constantly redeem himself in films like Unbreakable, Split, and now Glass, Shamala never quite finds the right formula to bring back his glory the way it was in 1999. Glass is definitely a departure from his usual massive flops back in the years, but it still suffers from his cartoonish direction and ambitious plot that doesn't really quite find its way to full coherence. I find Glass as an okay film. It isn't as stagnant and still as unbreakable, but it also isn't as hysterical and over the top as Split. It's just right in the middle. People are torn with James McAvoy's performance. Some people love it, some people hate it, but personally I find it quite cartoonish still. It is as over the top as his performance in Split. There really is something about the direction of this film and how his character was written and how McAvoy decided to approach his character. All those elements didn't come together for me. It's as if the writer has a completely different vision and the director has a completely different vision, which doesn't make any sense because M. Night Shyamalan also wrote this movie. And McAvoy has a completely different vision of how he would portray the character and I don't think it was cohesive enough. Overall, Glass feels like an aimless journey that would leave the audience in the oven half-baked. For a finale of a trilogy, I don't think Glass is very satisfying and it's a bit underwhelming to be honest for a conclusive chapter of this East Trail 177 trilogy. For some reasons, Glass didn't have that ultimatum feels of ending a trilogy that has been a crowd pleaser for years and years or over a decade. It just doesn't have that click for me. So that's it for me today. I hope this video is as short as I wanted it to be. And if you have any thoughts or any suggestions or any comments, just let me know in the comments below. I would love to know your thoughts as always. And don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel below, please. I will see you soon.